Keeping track of extensions can be overwhelming, but Chrome Browser Cloud Management can make it easier. So let's talk about using Chrome Browser Cloud Management to improve extension management in your enterprise. Ready to get started? First, make sure all your devices are enrolled into Chrome Browser Cloud Management. Then, turn on Cloud Reporting. Now you can see which extensions are installed, how many extensions are installed, where they're installed, what permissions are needed for them to run, and more. For more about getting started with Chrome Browser Cloud Management and enrollment, click the link in the description. Let's get back to extensions. The first step to reviewing extensions is to understand the rights or permissions extensions need to function. These are broken into two categories, site permissions, which have access to the websites that your users visit, and device permissions, which have access to the devices that have the extensions installed on them. Determining what access you will allow in your enterprise depends on your organization's security needs. Now let's look at some of the extension data included in Chrome Browser Cloud Management. In the Google Admin Console, under Devices, click Chrome Management. This is the central location to manage your Chrome Browser instances. Here, you can gain insight into installed extensions, Chrome versions, apply policies, and more. Now, let's see a top-down view of all the installed extensions before applying some policies. Here, you can view all installed extensions, how they were installed, any that are disabled or force installed, and the permissions attached to them. If you click on an extension, you can see a detailed view of where it is installed and the permissions that it requires to run. If you want more information about the permissions, click here. Now that we know more about the extensions and permissions in your environment, let's apply some policies in the console. All of the policies can be found under Chrome Management. Then, apps and extensions policies can be set globally or just for specific departments or geolocations. Here, you can also allow all extensions to be installed or just the ones you want on your allow list. You can create collections of extensions and more. Over here, you can set advanced settings for extensions. This includes selecting the types of apps and extensions that are allowed and the ability to block extensions by permission. Notice a permission you don't want to allow to run in your environment? Just check the box and click apply. And say you want to prevent extensions from running on your most sensitive websites. Use the block by runtime host setting. This will allow extensions to work on all sites except for the ones you want to apply specific protections. For example, this feature will allow end users to use their extensions to run on all sites except for sensitivesite.com. To add multiple sites, just hit enter and add in another one. If you want to block extensions from running on all sites except for the ones you allow, just select the allow site list. There you have it, extension management made simple. For more information on extension management, go to g.co slash chrome enterprise.